I just came across a little video from, I think it was called South Fork Baptist Church, and it came up in my feed, and I'm not sure why, but um, on YouTube, and the Baptist minister was attacking Our Lady, and he was attacking the Catholic Catechism. He had a copy of the Catechism, and he had a, co a copy of his heretical Bible. Why do I say that? Because their Bible is interpreted the way they want to interpret it, not according to 2,000 years of tradition. And I, my other channel on YouTube is fundamentally non-Catholics. Uh, I would say 90% are not Catholic. I have to be always using kid gloves and walking on eggshells. That's why I started this channel where I can be blunt, and the, the re and you might say, well, why is that? Isn't that dishonest? No, the reason it's not dishonest is because I'm being directed on how to use that channel to reach souls, because every soul matters, and just to offend people and to attack people like this pro Protestant minister was doing is not the way to go about it. You could not leave comments, of course. Um, I always hope that people can leave comments on all my videos. But um, basically, he was attacking the Queenship of Mary and the fact that we believe that she was assumed into heaven. And I'm praying for him. And I, I kept the video so that I would remember to pray for him. Because as Catholics, we know you cannot be saved without Our Lady. That's just how our Lord designed it. That's the beauty of the whole redemption story of which God, the Father, is the author. And isn't it a beautiful thing what he has made? His way for us to be saved, meaning all graces come through her. If you told, <laughs> you try telling that to a non-Catholic, you're not going to get anywhere. They just, they'll just turn you off right away. So it's only by praying to her to our queen and asking her to intercede for them that they will get the graces necessary to understand what an extraordinary gift our wonderful mother and queen is. And I try not to get annoyed. I know that they're, they're, they're limited, that their, their, their knowledge, their information is limited because they choose to be, they, they um, have so many holes in their teachings and we don't because we have the magisterium scripture and sacred tradition and that's like three like a stool being held up by three legs and you pull away one of those legs it kind of falls over or topples and they have one scripture and it's in the middle and that that table that stand is not going to hold up it's just not but here is the reality. The reality to those that attack the church. For those that attack the church, the church is like a mountain. And it's like a mountain taller than any mountain on planet Earth. And it's made of solid gold and silver. And it blazes in the sunlight. It's so glorious. And this mountain cannot be touched by man in any way, shape, or form. No matter how many corrupt, misguided priests and bishops are in it, it remains this amazing golden, silver mountain glimmering, flashing in the sunlight. And those that try to attack it, you know what they are? They're just little ants at the base of the mountain, running around, doing nothing. That is the glory of the church, and it cannot be touched because who is the founder? Jesus Christ, who is the mother, Our Lady and Queen. So join me in praying for them, praying, because we know Our Lady loves them. She loves all her children, and no one is saved without her. Even those who do not know her, do not recognize her,
because she is so loving and merciful and gracious, she will allow us, I truly believe this, to pray for those that do not love her and to love her in their stead, meaning make up for the love in a small way that they are not showing her. And that, that my friends, is how they will get to heaven. It's all, really when you think about it, it is, that's what the divine will is. All souls everywhere reaching out towards all of them. But it is a tragedy and it's heartbreaking and hard to, to stomach sometimes because they're on the attack. They're not just, uh, you know, pronouncing their beliefs. They're attacking the church. And that makes me very uneasy for their souls because it reminds me of the likes of Martin Luther who went on the attack in the end. So it's a golden silver mountain that they cannot touch, but we still have to defend it. And we still have to love them and pray that they receive the graces that they will need to understand what they are missing and to Our Lady be brought to their heavenly home. Amen.